Hello and welcome to the final tutorial in this developing computer games via Visual C Sharp dot net. We've got to balance our game. The game now has all the components that we really wanted. It has collision detection, it has scoring, it has the player can move the basket so it has an avatar during the game and there is animation and so on. We've really met most of the requirements that we set ourselves. But the game needs to play well. We call this gameplay. And the process of making the gameplay uh, increasingly more suitable, satisfying, or fun is called balancing. So, what I've done is I've set the player speed to 10 instead of 5. That means every time the player um, moves his avatar or her avatar by pressing the left or the right key the avatar jumps 10 pixels so it's quicker and the drop speed has been increased to 10 now the drop speed is related to the timer but in this case it's doing the same thing in that the drop speed is related to how far fast the apple drops or increments the other way to speed up the drop of the apple is to change the interval property of the timer Originally, well in fact the default is 100, so 100 milliseconds, one tenth of a second. I changed it to 20 by trial and error, and it seems to be okay on my particular computer. So um, I balanced it out to put 20 in there. So the apple drops every 0.2, sorry, 0.02 of a second, every two hundredths of a second. Balancing a game is not complete science, it's also an art form. It has to feel right to the player. Now an extension of balancing a game is really extending it so it's cosmetically more appealing. Um, what I've done here is to make the um, form background sport clip art of a tree. and you can see the extent of the tree here now what I've done with the picture box is um, I've changed the original graphic so that it's um, now a PNG file portable network graphics file which means it has uh, opportunity to have transparency the way I got that was to use an application to give it in this case PaintShop Pro detail of this it doesn't really matter because you can use anything Photoshop would do fine but the original um, picture just had a white background now I've set it to if we have a look at this um, palette and set transparency and view it now um, when you view it you get that kind of uh, pattern then you save it as a PNG and then you re-import it into the uh, Visual Studio using the ellipsis and import. You can do that the same thing with the Apple graphic. We're going to leave it there because with all games you never really finish the game. It just goes on and on forever. So this is how the game looks now. Essentially it's got collision detection, key movement for the avatar and a timer doing the animation on the descending apple. The background image of a tree and making the basket um, picture box background transparent uh, makes the playing more interesting because the story is more embedded little changes can make a lot of difference. Hope you've enjoyed this series of tutorials.
and it's been useful.